the reason relationships have become so difficult is because men have become childlike and women have become very aware of their rights. So when it's a uh, on one side, women are maturing up. They and they have more rights and they feel more confident. And on the other side, men are becoming more and more childlike. Cell phone, car, game. And the real reason that men have stopped growing is because men are able not to take upon themselves with any sort of responsibility. So relationship has become I will exploit you, I will use you and feel good that you are with me and make me feel good. But at the end of the day, most times, women want not just a relationship, but someone with whom they connect and they can respect. And a woman can respect only when a man is there who can take this much. And if that responsibility is not being taken over, then she's going to be feeling really I'm with a child. So it will happen that there will be a breakup. Breakup will happen because expectations of neither are met. If both want to work out a relationship, it has got to be unconditional. Thank you for being in my life and I'll do everything possible and impossible to make you happy and I won't care about my happiness. If both are on that uh, thought or both have that as their principle or motive, then the relationship can work out. But if it is, I feel depressed, I want you to make me happy and it's from both sides, then this mutual desire, I want you to make me feel happy invariably leads the relationship to go down. And as it is, people have choices. Oh, I can go to the Tinder and have so many relationships. No, these are not relationships on the Tinder. I'm sorry. These are just physical acts. You, Tinder is just a place where people do not connect. That's the wrong word. They just interact and uh, have some physical exercises together. So they have Tinder exercises or whatever the website may be called, Grinder or whatever it is. They have interact interactive exercises with the person that they flick through. But a body connection does not mean a heart connection. For the heart connection to happen, for a woman, it is very, very important that she respect the guy as a father figure. And the father figure is who? Who gives security. And security, a person can give to the other only when he or she takes the responsibility. I love you. Now I take your responsibility. That Love becomes just physical act and then the responsibility never ever really gets around it. So for a relationship to work out, it has to be mutual service to each other. Only then can it work out. And 99% uh, or 90% of the spiritual people nowadays are women. So it's out of proportion. Because if one is spiritual and the other laughs at spirituality, because if you are avoiding responsibility, then what's happening? You are still playing games. You are still a boy. And boys and girls do not grasp very complex or very mature things or very uh, sophisticated topics like spirituality. They can grasp Soccer because you kick a ball. They can grasp a basketball because you take a ball of air and put it through a 
another hole and uh, you jump and this, etc. That can be trapped. Oh, I saw someone kick uh, some air, something into the air which already had air inside it and it went through two poles. So men can grasp that. But Om Namo Shivaya. Maybe one tenth. One tenth will have a feeling because it's not about just having fun on the planet. It is about being an enabler or being fun for someone. And because most men are right now like children, they are super depressed. The depression of a women is different. They are feeling shocked that uh, that uh, they fought, thought that this was love and just the guy came and had them. So there is a lot of disparity happening over out there. These are very uh, difficult, challenging times. There is so much amount of money on the planet. There's so many things on the Amazon and this and that and so so much amount of information. Everywhere there is abundance. But there's also an abundance of people who are feeling. It's like a plague of people who are feeling. So, and it doesn't matter. You can be surrounded by the whole family and you can be feeling poor. And it's a good loneliness because then we can connect to that which is beyond this world. If you find a lot of happiness in this world, if you get happy with the sex in the planet, with the comfort of things in this, and the clothes you wear, and the food you eat, which most of the people, they are driven. Foodies, very good. Where does the foodie go? I came and I eat a lot, or I, I'm very particular about it. Okay. So you have that culture, even of food, which ultimately ends where? You, everyone knows you. There's this delicious food ends up there. But people are upset. They don't see the end result or they don't want to see the end result. So there's a culture of being like a child, just indulging your senses. And it's okay to be depressed when you see the state of the world and you want to, your state has got to be virakti. You see the childishness of the world. And you become more mature. You're not as attracted. Just like you are a real time billionaire. Each one of you has got spiritual dollars, zillion. And then someone say shows you monopoly money. You have your zillionaires with spiritual dollars. And someone shows to you monopoly money. And you see that people are ready to die for this monopoly. And living, not only dying, but living all their life. I save some monopoly money and make five dollars more. How will I get a sale? How will I this this? How will I get this for less? How will I take more for less? That's all. So that's the discovery. That the spiritual. Once you get see the world as being childish, then you get automatically you let. You are able to let go and attach to a higher self. The higher self which is beyond the things of the world. So it is beyond senses. But it is there. It is there only when you can understand that inside this body, closing eyes, you'll go to the realness. Closing eyes, we'll start our journey. First, disconnecting with the world, which is childish, full of ch children, and it's okay. Let the children in your world. You go deep inside, starting with our heart. See yourself as a Allah, as cross, as Om, in the in front of the heart, in front of your chest, and with Om, press in thoughts, press your your you know, your chest in the middle so that your energy goes inside. Oh. 
as it goes inside, you cross over the physical body layer, which is made of whatever you eat. Children don't eat, they won't grow. Up. So all this is unkosher, it is called food layer. Oh. Write the wave of the mantra. Go beyond the food layer. Now you are in a field of energy. Also shown outside as over aura. But this energy, it changes. With your mood, it changes. So you go beyond that. Oh, going deep beyond the body and beyond the energy. And the energy is a very subtle level of your thoughts. It's like a stream. Never-ending stream of water flowing, just with four doses. That's your mind. You jump over it. Oh. Now, when you have thoughts, different emotions get unlocked in your body. One thought will unlock an emotion of love. One other will unlock something of food. Will unlock some some emotion that I want it or don't want it. Go beyond this emotional barrier. Beyond this is very, very hard coded line of your intellect. I like this, I don't like that. But now, seeing that the whole world is childish and the whole world is a reflection of God, but that is in a play mode, you go to God directly. You're going to God directly. Going to, going beyond body, energy, mind, emotion, intellect. Behind these five layers is a garden of pure delight where you see the one that you love, the true love that you have. You see the golden light of the God in your heart, your true love. And you go towards this light. Oh. You reach out to this golden light in the garden of your heart. And you become one with this golden light. Letting go of your body, mind, intellect, emotions. You become one with the golden light in the center of your heart. As you become one with this golden light, you fill your whole body with golden light, your own universe, which you can control. You fill it with golden light from your heart. Oh. Now we offer to our ancestors. Oh. We offer the golden light. We bow down to our ancestors. We offer to them the golden light. Om. We see the ancestors laughing in our heart. Om. Now we offer to all our parents in all our lives, in all the creation. Om. See your parents as being happy and smiling in your heart. Now offering to the teachers, the people who had to hurt us so that we would become spiritual. People who made us uncomfortable so that we could become comfortable with God inside our life. Oh. Now we are offering golden light Offering golden light to all the people who have hurt us, who are our teachers. We let go of pain, fear, anger. And now with Om and breathing, breathing Om and take the lower energy 
sexual energy of I want this, I want that to your heart where it opens like a lotus. Oh. Oh. From the heart, offering love, light and laughter as golden light. To all people, seen and unseen, who have accompanied you in all lives, in all planets, in all creations, in all dimensions. Oh. Your heart is a temple, merchant, church, synagogue, spreading love as golden light. Love, light and laughter is being radiated from your heart to everywhere, filling your whole universe, your whole body with love, light and love. Oh. Your head, where all the infinity of the universe is processed, is now full of golden thought of gratitude to the creator. And the creator is the golden light in your heart. You are totally one in your thoughts, body, and that the level of energy with the creator inside you, around you, and everywhere. Oh. Oh. You dissolve, you become one with the creator inside you and inside everything and everything. Seen and unseen, good and bad. You go beyond your body, mind, intellect, energy, emotions, thoughts. Spreading love to and help to G who has come back from that. Om Namah. Galia needs help. Worries about children. Om Namah. Hal and daughter. Om Namah. In relationship. Om Namah. Dad. Om Lord I am. Om Marina. Paris and Black. Om Sister. Om Preeti and Relationships. Om relationship special love and focus. Or grandfather that she has clarity and support in them. Julia and feeling of Being spiritual means that no matter what happens on the planet, what happens in your life, your heart is smiling and blessing everything. Om Namosh. Om Namosh. Om Namosh. Bless yourself. See yourself from this second 
totally laughing, smiling with your heart and helping others. You know, praying specially for all the people with relationships. Om Bhuruksha Tatsa Tone Margo Deva Sadi Deva Yona Prachoda Prachodya Julia Om Tanam Om Bhuruksha Tatsa Tone Margo Deva Sadi Deva Yona Prachodya Send love to the people in your life at home. You have some anger over it. Om Bhuruksha Tatsa Tone Margo Deva Sadi Deva Yona Maybe all number shall share. Om Namah Shiva. 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 Om Namah Om Namah Om Namah Om Namah Cat, Om Namah Om Namah Om Namah Laura, Om Namah Om Namah Om Namah Marina, Om Namah Om Namah Om Namah Paris, Om Namah You have each one of you has a direct connection with the true love, which is God inside. Om Namah Om Namah Om. All other relationships are a reflection of you. So go step into your life with the feeling that I will unconditionally look for service in all partnerships, in any partnership, without seeking anything for money. That's the key to a happy relationship. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. Till tomorrow, 6 p.m.